Here's the most simple explanation you'll hear today. Let's draw out the right femoral triangle, located and seen from the anterior thigh. First go grab some paper and colored markers. We'll first label our lateral side and our medial side. Before we label, let's draw our foundation. Draw a triangular structure, representing the borders of the femoral triangle. Sort of looks like an upside down sailboat, doesn't it? Try to remember that the navy sails. Now for the contents. In the midpoint, we'll draw down an artery in red. Lateral to it, we have a nerve in classic yellow. And medial to the artery, we have a vein in blue, along with this tributary. Medial to the vein, we'll have an empty space. And finally, most medial, we'll draw in our lymph nodes and vessels in green. Now that's it. You've drawn it. Now let's use the mnemonic sail to label the contents of the femoral triangle. Sail represents the borders of the femoral triangle. S for sartorius muscle, representing the lateral border. A for the adductor longus muscle on the medial border. And IL represents the upper border, which is the inguinal ligament. Now let's go inside the sailboat to label the contents with another mnemonic. We'll use navel from lateral to medial. N for the first one, femoral nerve. Medial to it is the A for the femoral artery. Medial to that is a V for the femoral vein and its tributary, the great saphenous vein. Next is E for the empty space. Nothing is actually shown here. L is for the lymph vessels and deep inguinal lymph nodes. That's it for the content and labeling, but let's also quickly go over some important things to know. The roof of the femoral triangle is made of the skin and the fascia. The floor, from lateral to medial, is the iliopsoas muscle, middle part is the pectineus muscle, and the most medial part is the adductor longus muscle. Also remember this, the structures of the femoral triangle are covered by the femoral sheath. It covers the femoral artery, femoral vein, the empty space, and the lymph nodes. The femoral nerve is not inside the sheath. It covers from here to here. Now the femoral sheath is divided into three parts, the lateral compartment, middle compartment, and the medial compartment. The most medial compartment is important. It forms a canal called the femoral canal. This canal has an opening ring, which we'll draw here and label it the femoral ring. Just remember that the femoral sheath covers contents A to L, and the nerve is not included in the femoral sheath. And the most medial compartment of the femoral sheath has the femoral canal, which covers the E and L parts, which contains the empty space, lymph vessels, and deep inguinal lymph nodes. You've done it. Great job. You have drawn the structure, the content, and the important divisions and landmarks. Is there a topic you'd like us to cover? Write it here below in the comments, and we'll get to it.